Hey there, this is Andrew, and I'm bringing you another Keyforge card tier list. This time we're going to be going over Synctum, all the Synctum cards released so far. All right, might as well get to it. So, uh, I guess we're going to start with some dark, uh, with some dark Evil Twin versions here, <clears throat> and. Let's see. I actually ought to have a reference up because a lot of these you just don't see very often. All right, so uh, so Evil Alms Master <clears throat> gives her neighbors uh, destroyed steel one. Um, that seems okay, but also pretty situational because could easily kill her first and then the neighbors let's start with a B um, <clears throat> all right Larry of the lake gets extra armor for itself that's that's not great um, lightsmith evil Clariel lets you switch any creatures power and armor for the remainder of the turn that also seems bad I mean I'm putting these in C because they're at least bodies that can stay on the board but not impressed uh, <clears throat> evil Sargassa after a player raises the tide Sargassa captures two from your opponent um, that's interesting in set I'm gonna give that a B but um, I don't think it's <clears throat> that much of a game changer. Evil Urian, uh, your opponent loses amber equal to its armor. Um, also kind of a... Uh, it could be good, but not most of the time. So <clears throat> I don't think it's that great. Um let me see if I can hunt these others really quick while I'm thinking of them. Uh, evil Bevor. Uh, one power, five armor, poison. I mean, that's kind of interesting <clears throat> for solving some problems, but maybe I put it, you know, it's kind of like Collector Worm or something. Uh, and then... This is the last one. Gray Augur. Her neighbors get uh, Reap, gain one, and exalt this creature. Um, again, I don't think that's all that great. <sighs> okay. That honestly is pretty rough. I. <clears throat> <laughs> um yeah that's that's rough okay let's look at uh let's look at the next few things so we have here batarial of the gray uh batarial makes your to is from winds of exchange only and makes your tokens be disciple and then she has after fight or sorry after reap ready each disciple that's kind of interesting um disciples are only one power they're pretty easy to kill so i again i'd rather have cleric or a token from another house <clears throat> um okay heavy subsidies is an interesting one and maybe i rated an a only because i lost horribly to it recently um jt russell has a double heavy subsidies deck that um that he manipulated the timing very, very well. So uh, I found that pretty impressive. And yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. Um, but it is situational. It seems very situational. All right, Serial uh, prevents your creatures from being exhausted. I don't think that's a great effect. <clears throat> Should some of these be D tier? I don't think so. We'll see. Promised Blade. Uh, 
Omni, a friendly creature, captures one. That's great. The weird thing is, at the start of each player's turn, it goes to the player with the fewer, with the fewest creatures. Um, so if you're maintaining board control, it's seems like it wouldn't be good. I haven't seen it be great, so uh, I'm just going to put it there in the B tier. It's interesting. Uh, it might even deserve C, but I, I just haven't done enough with it or seen enough with it. <clears throat> uh, Glorious Few is really interesting. That can be a great way to punish your opponent for going too far uh, in in having more board than you. Uh, okay, next, Grey Abyss, each friendly token creature gets plus one armor. When you play, you make a token. It's okay. Um, not, not that great a benefit, but it can be if, I mean, it depends on who your tokens are. All right, him to Duma, I'm going to put in S tier. I think this is a really interesting and good card. It gives your creatures, uh, Omni, destroy this creature, uh, creature captures two. That, or friendly creature captures two. It's really good. Uh, Katarina. I'm going to put up here in A tier. Maybe Grey Abyss belongs in B. How, how's that? Um, Katarina definitely goes in A tier. Capture combined with uh, giving you all those tokens when she's destroyed. I think it's just great. Lightbringer Outpost, solid A tier. Um, the ability to capture three with an artifact action is great. I'm going to have a Martyr of the Vault up here in S tier. Maybe maybe high A. Could go either way, but uh, the ability to burn your opponent down to five is very strong. Um, okay, this one. What card is that? That is a uh, oh maybe I should just do it at this zoom. How's that? That's much nicer actually. Um, oh there it is. Squire recruitment. So make a token creature for each friendly knight creature. Um, <clears throat> that's probably B tier. I don't think it's that great. It's not bad. Uh, okay, ostentatious mount. Gives a creature taunt, lets you move it, kind of meh. Maybe maybe it's B. I mean, it it can be can be pretty good to get to rearrange like that after the fact. I've just never had it matter too much. <clears throat> All right, uh, outflank. That's a lot of capture. That's a nice card. Um, <clears throat> Pandulf's great. Uh, the taunt combined with enraging something, um, and it's a pretty solid taunt. Four two is is a pretty pretty solid way to protect something. I like that. Uh, maybe we should put this in B tier, but it's it's solid. Taxing journey. Uh, usually, usually capture two or three. That's pretty solid. Um, Revered Monk, I think not good, not great, doesn't do much. Gizzleheart's Wrath, destroy each mutant creature, that's interesting in set, but overall it's, I think, pretty bad because, partially because mutants just there aren't a lot of them in other sets, and so you're more likely, if you're playing Mass Mutation against other sets, you're just more likely to do a lot of damage to yourself. <clears throat> Let's see here. 
Zephon the Opulent. This is an interesting one. Um, depends on your token, but it can be quite good. After Reap Gain 2 is solid. And Play Make 2 tokens is actually pretty solid as well. We're going to put this in B tier. But it, it scales. I think <clears throat> how good Zephon is depends on your token, for sure. Uh, Absolve, I'll put in... B tier it can capture a lot, um, but it doesn't have the upside of Cleansing Wave of being a huge burst. I guess we'll come back to Cleansing Wave. <sighs> Battlefield Evangelist I think is a pretty good creature, pretty solid. Uh, Colonel Mariana better I think. Five power, one armor, and each friendly night creature captures one, which includes himself. Uh, membership Drive is a burst card. I love it. Uh, Nidapol I love, too. Very interesting. It, it certainly depends on what creatures you have, but if you get Nidapol with, like, Grey Rider, it's a, it's a pretty cool combo. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, Retribution, kind of a, kind of like a Duma, no, not Duma, Numquid, kind of like Numquid, but in action form and can only fire once. Uh, I'm going to put it in B tier. Muster, I'll put in B tier as well, make a token. It captures two. <clears throat> Comparing to like Tax and Journey and Outflank that probably capture more. It doesn't have an amber. It makes a token instead, which I usually think is below amber in value. Just slightly. Oh, wait. Muster's different. Muster's the one that archives itself. If your opponent has more amber than you, I would put that in C tier. Uh, request donations can go in B tier. <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> there are six ambassadors from Age of Ascension that are one power elusive with a uh, fight reap. You can play or use a card of the house that the ambassador is to. Um, I just have never seen them be very useful because they die so easily. And I don't think, like, compared with a Dusk Witch... I don't think this power is on the same level as Dusk Witch. So you have that, well, Dusk Witch has Omega too, but you have this downside of it being pretty easy to kill. Um, and I don't think the upside is that good. <clears throat> All right. Horseman coming up, that's fun. Uh, okay, Halo... Of enlightenment. It's not a good sign that I don't remember what this does. Uh, it can't be attacked while its controller controls a token creature, and when you play it, you make a token creature. That's actually really interesting. I would love to have that in like a, a berserker deck or something. I think that should actually be in B tier. Uh, which one is this? Fully heal a creature, make to oh, renewed life. Okay, that make a token creature for each damage healed this way. Um, that seems that actually seems very interesting, but very situational. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to put that. At C, but maybe it should be B. I could be wrong about that. Celestial Gorm, I think, goes in A tier for sure. Gives you some artifact control, and it can also be some amber generation. Um, it's a it's a good card. Uh, Cassiel the Benevolent, uh, two captures and an amber on a two power two armor creature. Um, I think 
that does good things for your deck. Um, I think it's fine. I'll put it in B tier. Um, the, okay. Uh, Hail the Merchant. Let's hmm. even do. Uh, each time you play an artifact, gain one. Um, he's he does not very survivable, and that's very situational. I I tend to not like these. Even like I think in shadows, I I didn't rate Carlo Phantom very highly. Situationally, it can be good. I've seen decks with like a Carlo be great. I haven't seen Hale be great, so. Um, <clears throat> definitely going in C tier. All right. Now, the Four Horsemen. Um, death, Famine, Pestilence, War. They're all five power. <clears throat> They're all <clears throat> Horsemen and Spirit. Uh, <clears throat> famine says play fight reap destroy the least powerful creature pestilence has play fight reap deal one to each non-horseman creature war has play for the remainder of the turn each friendly creature can be used as if it were in the active house but can only fight and death brings your other horsemen back when you play it from the discard pile it's a cool um it's it's a cool thing it's a cool setup uh, I'm surprised they haven't brought it back for another set. Um, but I don't think it's that good. I have actually not seen it be very good. So I'm going to put it in C tier. I mean, early on, in the first few months of the game coming out, if you opened a deck with Horsemen, you could sell it for minimum 100 bucks. Um, <clears throat> but I think... People were really excited about the theme and the, and the built-in combo, um, but compared to some of the other combos you can get in this game that aren't built-in, I think it's, it's lower powered. <clears throat> uh, all right, Rotheus. This is a great taunt creature. Um, <clears throat> four power, four armor, <clears throat> with hazardous four. That's difficult to deal with. Anahita the Traitor is a cool effect, right? After Reap, give your opponent one of your artifacts. If you do, uh, they give you two Amber. It's technically not stealing. But the number of times I've seen it actually get pulled off are few. It's two power, no elusive. And you have to have it in a deck with a lot of artifacts and ones that, you, that are uh, worth less than two steal. So... That's a that's a tall order. Uh, okay, moving on. Friendship. So, uh, while while this creature, when this creature will be dealt damage, if it has one of our neighbors, you split the damage between the neighbors. That's also just very interesting. Um, I haven't seen a deck used that well, but it seems like it really seems to me like that should be somebody should be doing something cool with that. I want that to be an A tier, but I think I'm just going to put it in B tier because I haven't seen it work out that way. Uh, Proclamation. Uh, is this S tier? It might be S tier. I love it. Um, uh, it's tough. Pretty consistently boosting your opponent's key cost by two in an artifact form is just real good. And combos well with, with a few things. Um, let's put it in high A tier. Clear mind. Uh, unstun your creatures. It's cool, but how beneficial is it? I don't know. Virtuous works. Uh, that's solid. Get three amber. I like it. I'm <clears throat> just happy to see it. Whispering reliquary. Um, that's also pretty good. You've got some artifact control there still yeah not as not as strong as as hard removal destroying or purging an artifact uh but still removing it for your turn is fine i 
I do think, actually, I'm going to put it in B tier because I think Celestial Gorm, the Omni ability, actually makes it significantly better. Uh, even though it is, you can't repeat it. Uh, okay. J I love Jehu. <laughs> I'm going to put him in B tier, though, because he, he's not very survivable. And, yeah, he's a little iffy. Uh, Baron Megavin, also going to put him in B tier. Um, discarding cards doesn't necessarily feel great. He would have been a great fit for Grim Reminders because of all the discard effects. Um, if you were discarding stuff with scrap, that'd be great, but uh, in the sets that he's been in, it hasn't worked out that way. So, uh, okay, Mother Northell. Uh, after Reap, you move an Amber from a creature to your pool. That seems pretty cool. I haven't seen, again, I haven't seen it work out, so I'm going to put it in a high C. So I think if it could, if, if you fire it, it's, it's nice. I just haven't seen it fire. Mm. Avenging Aura gives creatures assault. Eh, that's fine. I mean, not clear mind is a better card than that. Uh, be gone, destroy, uh, choose and destroy this creature or gain one. Eh, that's one B. Uh, blinding light is a great card. Stun a whole house. That's great. The harder they come, also great. Purge a creature with power five or higher. That's really good. Merrick the Marked. Um, I'm going to put him in B, 5 power, 1 armor. And every time, uh, for every damage that's prevented by his armor, he captures one. So you can you can get some good capture going, um, and especially if you get some upgrades. But I, mm, I haven't seen it actually work out to great effect. Uh, Prince Derek, four power, one armor. If you have uh, your other two houses, if you have at least three houses on the board, he gets two or three amber when you play him. But it's hard to pull that off. If you do, it's just a couple amber, and then he's an okay body on the board. But it, it's a little difficult to pull that off. Honestly, for the cool factor, I'd rather see the horseman. But for the winning, I'd, I'd probably rather have Prince Derek. So I think that's right. Um, what does the Shard of Hope do? What is their shard? Uh, friendly creature captures one for each friendly shard. I mean, that's fine. Martyr's End is a very interesting card. Situational, but um, destroying your creatures and then bursting a bunch of amber seems good. Having the option, anyway. Uh, we've got Round Table. That's a solid card. I like to see that in a Night Deck. We already did Glorious Few. Um, I like to see Champion Tavris. Fight Capture one. And, sh and she's actually such a big body. 6-2. Um, maybe High B. France, uh, yeah. Yeah, Francis, um, not as good as Tavris, generally, although can fire when attacked, so there's that. Uh, Grey Monk, I think, not great. Lady Lady Maxina is cool and and a big board presence too. I like Sergeant Zakiel. That's great. Um, comboed with the right cards, it's even better. Maybe should go A tier, honestly. Let's put him in the high B. Um, Abed capture three, great. 
Uh, Abon is going to go in C. Little armor is nice, but not a total game changer. Bordan. Hmm. Wimpy. I'm going to put him in high C. Uh, healing Blast. Cool card. Not usually a game changer. Uh, Doom of the Martyr. Duma's great. I'm going to put Duma in A. I'm always happy to see Duma. Mm. <clears throat> Drawing two on a destroyed effect seems good. Is that is that good? Should it be high B? Maybe I'm misrating things, but I think drawing, especially it's so scarce in Sanctum. Maybe that's why I feel that way. Um, <clears throat> zoom out a little bit. All right. Oath of Poverty, such a, such a crazy card. I'm going to put this in A tier because it's an interesting card. Uh, destroy your artifacts, get amber. Uh, inspiration, ready and use a creature. Um, Probably goes in A. I think it's good. If it had an Amber, it'd be even better. Um, Shield of Justice. That's a B. I think that's good. I have a lot in B here. Maybe it, I need to reassess that in a minute. Uh, okay, Terms of Redress. Capture 2. Yeah, that's solid. Hallowed Blaster, solid D tier. Um, Sigil of Brotherhood, that's going to be A, I think. If, if I have that, I'm happy if I get that. Get an extra use out of maybe two creatures, like that's that's great. Golden Aura, <clears throat> B tier. See, it's worse than Inspiration because Inspiration at least readies the creature. Golden Aura often fizzles and does nothing. Bulwark, I'm always happy to see. Sequis, I'm happy to see. But not great. Lion Boutram, um, interesting, but not a game changer, I don't think. So I'm going to put him in C tier. Maybe he should be a low B. But I actually, I think this is actually pretty correct. If you look at the overall like spread of Sanctum, there is actually a lot of this, like, good stuff that, that that isn't a game changer i think this is i think i'm doing okay here uh hallowed shield gonna be d tier <clears throat> sir marrows this is probably a i think uh turning off your opponent's ability to gain amber through reaping is pretty good maybe this is high b because <clears throat> i know that we have barrister joya coming <clears throat> take hostages um this is gonna be a lower b tier because it can capture more than say in terms of redress but it's so conditional <clears throat> uh commander remiel i i i love i i wanted this to be a great card and in hindsight i think it's just not that great so c tier like, it's a good effect, but at three power, are you going to get to use it? Protectrix, C tier. Um, protect the weak. Well, where did I put... Uh, here's a fun thing. So, uh, so compare Ostentatious Man and Protect the Weak. Uh, Protect the Weak gives plus one armor. So, okay, that is, uh, that's actually pretty good. And it can go up there with Ostentatious Man, but I actually think the plus one armor is better. Dry the River is a strong card, actually. Uh, While the tide is low, uh, <clears throat> a creature can't be used to reap. That's actually a pretty strong. Um, that's a pretty strong effect. 
to have. So, yeah, pretty good. Lightsmith Clariel, pretty weak, in my opinion. Uh, Illuminati. I think the ability here is what is the yeah the Illuminator exhaust up to four friendly Sanctum creatures. For each creature exhaust this way, stun an exalted creature. I guess you're kind of getting a slow reap benefit, so maybe it's okay. Maybe it belongs in like B tier. If it said, if it said your Sanctum creatures gain reap, stun an enemy creature, <clears throat> that creature captures an amber. I, I would be okay with it. I would think that was actually, I think I might think that's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is that Corpulent Collector? Yeah, okay. Corpulent Collector. That's an interesting one. Uh, I'm going to put that high B tier. I, th I think there's interesting stuff there. Okay. Uh, dry the Lakes. No, no. What is that? This is the one that resets the tide, right? Trial by water. Reset the tide. Like, it was a cool idea, but it's just, it just doesn't matter. Um, Aja. Ah, this is, this card's bad. Armageddon Cloak. Very interesting. That's going A tier. Um... What card is that? Oh yeah, Epic Quest. Duh. Uh, Epic Quest is uh, Epic Quest is an interesting one. It doesn't fire very often, but if it does, it's cool. So okay, these guys go in C tier. Nobody cares. Gatekeeper is a great card. Um, s solid A tier. Okay. <clears throat> Red Hand Registry, also at least A tier. Could be S tier. Almost any deck you add that to it, I'm happy. Harmonic Ritual can be great, but also can suck. I've, I just haven't seen it pull off being as good as a Virtuous Works very often, so... Sanctum Guardian's fun. He can he can go in B tier. Seraphic Armor, C tier. Spirit's Way is great. That, I'm going to put that in A tier. Gizzleheart Rat. Didn't we cover Gizzleheart's Rat? Yeah, we did. Okay, Doorstep. This is S tier. Uh, Alms Master. It's gonna go solid B tier. Could be, could be A, close to A. Um, Hadroth's Wall. I think it's an A tier card. It, it makes a lot of it has a lot of good combo ability. Um, Eye of Judgment. We'll put that B. Uh, Book of Malediction. I'll put this in A. I feel like the Return of Mars, you, you get a lot of combo that's not really relying on steel. So against Woe and GR, I think that's a, a bit nerfed, but <clears throat> it's it can be pretty good. Um, Claim, yeah, each night captures one. Did I not do that one? Thought we did it. Hmm. 
Okay, well, it's going to go in B. Uh, Orb of Wonder. <coughs> Let's put this in S tier. It's such a good combo enabler. Get what you want when you need it. Uh, one stood against many. Solid A tier. Badge Magus. Uh, yeah, I think B tier makes sense here. It's good, but I just wish she had some armor or something. Um, oh yeah, Marshall Ewer. Ah, if the tide mechanics were going to be good, but they're not, so C. Um, shifting Battlefield. Yeah, it's fine. We did tax and journey for sure. Lorena is an interesting card. She is a very serious capture presence. She's going to go... She can go up here by Rotheus. A taunt presence is what I meant. Raiding Knight, B. Ingrimob, D. I just wish I could never have that card. Uh, okay, the knights. Let's do all the knights here. Um, here's the thing. That armor is cool. So, it's, I like it better than the elusive from Shadows. But it still depends very much on what is with the, what, what other effect they get. So, um... So Xeno Knight, I think, that's A, A tier. The fight ability with the two armor is great. Lyco Knight, Skirmish with two armor, that's solid. Let's let's put that in B tier. Tech Knight, the Reap ability with two armor, that's great. Um, the Dino one, it's still great. It's such a big body, and that play direct damage is, is actually pretty good. Elusive, let's put this one in C tier, it's not good. And then the destroyed effect is fine, it's just actually hard to pull off with with the two armor, but, but I'll put that in A tier because I think it's it's fine. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, Lord Golgotha. Uh, really like this. Now, it used to be that this, when... Golgotha first came out, it was like, well, this is unique and cool. It's not so much so anymore. Uh, before fight, Golgotha deals three damage to each of the neighbors of the creature it's fighting. Splash is just like normal since whoa, so less exciting. But, no, it's still a great effect. Um, okay, I, I actually will put this in A because I think it is really nice. And 5 power 2 armor is also solid. First or last. <clears throat> Purging creatures can be good. Really good. Larry of the Lake. Uh, not good. Urian. Uh, with combos can be pretty cool. This card you want to build combos around. Do you get benefit from him? Tough. It's tough to say. Um, okay, Light Everlasting. This is a fun one. I'll put it in B. Opal Knight, Board Clear. Yeah, solid. Pretty solid. Uh, okay, Numquid I think is great. A tier. Uh, get your opponent's board down to the size of yours. Barrister Joya, very good. She S tier, I don't, probably not, but she's at least A. Uh, Bring Low is a great card. It's not as good as Doorstep, but it's real good. Call to Action is, I think, <sighs> Yeah, I think quite good, but sometimes bad. It just depends on 
what creatures you get with it. Seeker of Truth, mm, not so good. Uh, Scrivener Favian, very good. I think she belongs in A tier. Um, turning your captures to seals is very good. Charge. Uh, play deal two damage to a creature for all your creatures as you play them for the rest of the turn. is It's just fine. It's not that good, actually. Mighty Lance. Just fine. It should have had an Amber. I'm bummed that it didn't. Uh, Font of the Eye is going to go up here to A tier. It's very good. Uh, Gizzle Hearts, standard. Hmm. It's a little rough. I'm going to put it... It's either B or... It's either C or, or B. Um, I'm going to put it in C. Uh, Potion of Invulnerability. We can put it in B. Uh, you're not going to build a deck around it or, or, you know, pick a deck because it has this card in it, but it can be quite good. The Omni makes it good. Uh, Purifier of Souls. Destroyed Effects Don't Fire. That's very good. <clears throat> is it high A or is it S? I th I'm going to put it in high A. Um, a comparable effect, Master of the Grey, I'm going to steal here and move her up to S tier, actually, because I think she's very good. Um, Gizzleheart himself, actually pretty bad. I guess 4-3, he can go and see, but yeah, I don't, I don't love Gizzleheart. Radiant Truth is a, is a good card. Is it high B or is it C? Low C. Somewhere in there. Where did I put Blinding Light? But Blinding Light is better in, I think, more circumstances than Radiant Truth. But they, sometimes Radiant Truth is better. Bowl hyphen work. Um, I'm going to put in low A tier. Definitely better than the old bowl work. Shoulder armor can go in A tier. I think it's great. Um, Gorm, this is going to go up here in A tier for sure. Uh, hold fast can be low C. Um, honor or glory, I'm gonna put in D. Heal or Harm can be C. <sighs> Hammergram. Deal three damage to a creature and stun it. It should have had an Amber. I'm going to put this in D. Uh, Non-Evil Sunshell Sargassa um, is, is actually pretty good. I'm going to say low B. Uh, Staunch Knight, definitely C tier. Strange Ordination, we'll put in low A tier. Obviously not as good as Virtuous Works because it has a condition. Ardent Hero is a uh, taunt and... Creates kind of a cool conundrum, so I'll put it up with Pandolf. Anaphiel also can go in that territory. These are good taunt cards. Uh, Baranon. Um, generally, I think better than, say, Sequis, but... Um, there's like one more power, one more armor, but when a mutant's played, it gets enraged. And reap capture too. Um, yeah, I think we can, we can leave him there. Uh, 
Um, equalize is a weird one. In a corner case, very good, but in the general case, not good. I'm going to put high C. Uh, Vault Keeper is great. Yeah, all these your opponent cannot affect go are belong in either high A or low S. And Sanctum has so many of them. Master of the Grey, Vault Keeper, Purifier of Souls, Barrister Joya. Okay, uh, General Salvador. Uh, it's going to go in B tier. I mean, obviously, as a body, he's not great, but the two capture pips are kind of nice. Uh, Grand Melee, I think, is a nice board wipe, actually. I'm going to put that in low A tier. <clears throat> Vimos Lightbringer. Interesting, situational, but sometimes great. And a six power body, not, uh, I mean, that's not bad in any circumstance. Uh, Commandeer, I think, is pretty good. We'll put that in towards the top of B tier. Uh, Lieutenant Gorvanal, similar, I think, also belongs in high B. I think better than Tabris. Um, Amberheart. Um, I'm going to put in C tier. I don't think it's usually very good, actually. Again, situational, but not generally. Purify, kind of weird. It's kind of a weird card. I'm going to put it in high C. Mantle of the Zealot is great. This is going to go in A. Um, yeah, almost always a nice thing to have. Baldric. Um, Baldric, fight game two. I don't know. Maybe high B, could be low A. Burning Glaze. In set, very good. Out of set, still fine, actually. So let's say B. Things of Gizzleheart. Purge is the most powerful creature. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Situational, but interesting. Gizzleheart Zealot is going to go low C or D. We'll say low C. Smite, I think, is pretty good. Not sad to see that. This can go in B tier. Squire Alice, uh, pretty good. Um, let's, yeah, she can go in B tier. Got Free Markets. Free Markets is great and should probably be an A tier. It's not uh, abnormal to get like three or four amber out of it. Um, Cleansing Wave, also pretty bursty. I like that. Gray Rider is just a great card all the time. High A. And lastly, we have Chow. Um, pretty good taunt and has deploy, which I love. So actually comparable to like uh, Alms Master. Does, just doesn't have the capture. Um, all right, that's it. There you go. That is my Sanctum tier list. Um, Sanctum, I think, historically has struggled a bit to be good. But, on the other hand, there are a lot of good cards in here. Usually, though, what I think Sanctum is generally missing are uh, cards that define the game. So, if you think about... So, like, Doorstep to Heaven, for example, is a, uh, is a reset. But, it, but what it's not say too much to protect is is a is a way to get you to to check on your third key so strong defense but weaker offense compared to shadows and so i think that's just generally true it makes sense they're knights in big giant armor there are some good there are some good uh amber burst cards in sanctum 
but they're way better at slowing the opponent down uh, than at speeding yourself up. So um, I think that's why they struggle a little bit compared to other houses. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's my Keyforge Sanctum card list. Uh, let me know what you think I got wrong. Thanks for watching, and uh, get out there and forge some keys.